Hi guys and welcome back to another episode with Drone Mesh. Today we're going to be testing a new ESC that was just released and it's by Gemfan. It's called the Gemfan Maverick 30 Amp ESC. Now there's a couple things that's so cool about this ESC. One, it's a BL32 ESC. I know nothing cool about that. It does provide you with telemetry pads. That's also pretty cool. But what's the coolest part? It's $12. $11.99 to be exact. So it's very cheap. This could possibly be the best budget BL Heli 32 ESC you could possibly purchase at the current moment of time. I don't know yet. We're going to test it right now and we'll figure everything out. So let's just go quickly over some of the specifications before we jump in uh, into the testing here. So as you can tell here, we do have some nice filtration going on. We have around seven caps here. They're pretty fat caps. I'll show you in a bit right now. And we do have a nice little heat sink right there. And as you could read right there, hopefully you could read that. It says 2 to 6S LiPo. So this little beast can handle 2 to 6S LiPo. And it can run up to a 48 kilohertz PWM update frequency, which is very good. That means it makes it run a lot better and smoother if your flight controller can't handle that frequency. All right, so let's go ahead and check this other side here before we move on. So we do have a little bit more filtration going on, going on, on the back here, but they're just a little bit smaller. Uh, so we, I don't know what's gonna happen right now. We're, we're gonna test it and figure everything out. Overall, the bo board looks absolutely clean. Um, it seems of good quality, uh, but that's, that's all I could really say at the current moment of time. It is rated for 30 amps and a 40 amp burst. And uh, the silicone wires for the power are 18 gauge. And the yellow wire is also silicone for the signal. As you can tell, they didn't install the uh, the ground for your signal. So you, if you wanted to do that, you can go ahead and do that right there. And if you want to do telemetry, I believe it would be on the TX pad because TX is transmit. So it will transmit the data down to the... Uh, uh, flight controller to tell it what the RPM is, what the temperature is. And as you can tell here, we don't have current reading. So that's something very important. But what you can get, I believe, is temperature reading as well as the RPM reading. So that's going to be, you know, that's that's your only telemetry here. Oh, as well as voltage. Sorry about that. It'll also give you your voltage back. And um, yeah, that's really it. So it's a nice little budget one. Let's see how good it is. Let's get started. All right, guys, so the results are in here, and I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the Emacs Formula ESC. It's a 32-bit ESC. It's a little bit more expensive, and uh, just to give us kind of an idea of what's really going on here. So on the left side, we have the Emacs Formula, and on the right side, we have that new Gemfan Maverick ESC, which we're reviewing currently. So let's take a look at this here. Now, as you can tell, uh, this right here, the top graphs right there are throttle level noise. This is 10% throttle. 25, 50, 75, and 100% throttle. Both these tests. Here is just uh, maneuver, maneuvers, like just doing hardcore maneuvers and seeing the kind of noise it'll inject into your system. You know, with air mode, if you do a flip, it'll just catch itself. And this is what's really going on down here. Now, you can easily tell that the Emacs formula is better. And the Emacs formula is a little bit more expensive. It's about $3 more expensive. Now, if I'm paying, you know, the amount of, you know, 14 bucks for the Emacs formula, I would actually spend $2 extra to get a, uh, what is it, a Tico 32 ESC because, you know, look at the difference here. I mean, I'd, I'd rather go for that. This thing sounds insanely smooth. It is just performing insanely good. Uh, this is one of the best ESCs I've ever tested and I'm still using to this day and I highly recommend for everyone. I'll leave a link to this one down below. But now let's move this to the side here. So as you can tell here, we had a, on, on the throttle level test, we had, you know, voltage spike up to 30 volts on the Gemfan Maverick here and voltage drop of 9.4 volts. But this is, you really can ignore that right now because that's just the, you know, the, the amperage and the battery and everything. And down here, you could totally tell that the formula does a little bit better, actually noticeably like a lot better, maybe 35% better than uh, the Gemfan Maverick here. But don't forget the Gemfan Maverick here for $11, you're getting a lot, plus it's performing a lot better than any other $11 ESC. So for $11 ESC, so far, I think I would consider this as possibly one of the best BL32 budget ESCs at the current moment of time you could purchase. Now, uh, how good is it in the field? I can't really answer that. I really have to build this and I'm going to build as soon as possible because the weather is clearing up and we're gonna set it up on our ESC testing quad and seeing how well these things perform. So for $11, would I recommend it? Well, not yet until I, you know, build it with some kind of uh, uh, setup with no voltage regulator for the VTX, seeing the amount of noise we get into the video feed and based upon that. But you know what I, what I think would work very nice with this is if you set this up on a budget quad with just one nice fat low ESR capacitor, or even if you had just 
couple small low ESI capacitors to it, it'll clean that right up and you'll probably have a pretty good flying machine. Now, uh, one thing that's very important to take note of here is how did the motor sound? Now for $11 ESC, it sounded pretty smooth. And that is very rare that I hear something that's noticeably smoother than other $11 ESCs, which is also very good. Now, how good is this in the field? Like I said, I can't answer that just yet until we build it. Or if someone's used it, please let us know down in the comment section. I'm curious and others are as well. And um, that's really it. I mean, it's just an average, you know, it's, I, I say it's good for $11, but hopefully they'll come out with better for $11 ESCs. But overall, I mean, I mean the specs and everything on board, it seems like a good, okay deal. And uh, if you're going to pay a little bit extra, then I just highly recommend you just jump to the Tico 32 ESCs, save yourself a headache. But these don't seem that bad either. And uh, it's just, it comes down to you and uh, it comes mainly down to your pocket preference. It's not even you, it's just your pocket, what you could afford and uh, all that kind of crazy good stuff. And well, that's it guys. So that's going to conclude it for this video. I do have more budget ESCs on the way, BLH32 ESCs, some no name ones and uh, some uh, named ones that perform very well bad in the past hopefully they perform better this time and we'll be checking those out in the following episodes to come now i really hope you guys enjoyed the video you got some useful information please consider joining my patreon help support this channel help this content keep go growing and enable me to get more components in for testing um you could also use the affiliate links down below those greatly support the channel and um yeah if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and please don't forget to like share and subscribe that also helps the channel and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.